four, three, two, and one. Show me you're ready. Good. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Nicely done. Alrighty, so remember we started a new unit on Tuesday and this unit is dealing with why living things have needs. And we read a story. We read this story, right? It's called Grow, Pumpkin, Grow. Everybody say, Grow, Pumpkin, Grow. Grow, Pumpkin, Grow. Is it real or is it fantasy? Raise your hand if you remember. Raise your hand. Kendall, look at the pictures. Do those pictures look like they're real or do they look like they're fantasy? Okay, and then I... Um, when I drop my hand, I want you guys to tell me if it's real or fantasy. Ready? Real! Good! Good job, boys and girls. It is real. That is right. And what was this story about? Who remembers what this story was about? Victoria, what was this story about? Say it a little bit louder for me, sweetie. It's about pumpkins, it's about pumpkins growing. That is Right. I mean, it's in the title, Grow, Pumpkin, Grow. And it has some pictures down here. Remember these pictures? No. You don't remember these pictures? No. Well, let's look at these pictures. It's a seed. But it's a seed. And you know how we know that it's a seed? Right below it. I know it's hard to see on the screen, but it says the word seed. You remember what we call these? Remember what we call those words when they're placed near a picture or maybe on a picture? Starts with an L. Kellen, what do we call them? Do you remember? Do you remember or no? No, that's okay. Everybody say labels. 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 Right. Everything. These are labels down here. So this one says seed. This one says plant. This one says vines. What does this one say? Pumpkin. Ooh. Waiting for a quiet hand, Bernadette. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. That's right. So um, labels tell us things about the pictures, right? They tell us things about the pictures. I'm gonna reread Grow Pumpkin Grow and I want you guys to be following along. Jordan, hands down for now. Grow Pumpkin Grow. Grow if you, Pumpkin Grow. <laughs> I'm gonna read it, okay, sweetie? If you plant pumpkin seeds in the spring, then you can pick pumpkins in the fall. First, dig a hole in fertile soil that's good for growing things. So what do we need to do first? What do we need to do first, Leia? Dig a hole. Dig a hole? Dig a hole in what? What do I dig a hole in? In the carpet? No. What do I dig a hole in? The ground, the soil. Then place pumpkin seeds in the hole. Pumpkins need lots of sunshine and water to survive. What does it need to survive? What does it need? Victoria. Water and what else? Who remembers? What else? Water and Sarah. Do you remember? Say it again. Oh, not fertilizer. <laughs> Sunshine. Sunshine, okay? Pumpkins also need lots of space so their vines can stretch out. Remember how we do a stretch out? So it starts as a seed, then a plant comes out. Do this with me. And then the vines come out, the big vines. Oh, and they stretch out. They need a lot of space. And then watch the pumpkin flowers to bloom. Soon after, pumpkins will appear. Ooh. But they're not green. Or, oops, they're not orange at first. They're green, right? Mm -hmm. They're green. And then once they turn orange, they are ripe for picking, right? Okay, so that's our story about pumpkins. And we talked a little bit about author and illustrator before, right?
So what did the author do in this story? In this specific story about pumpkins, what did the author tell us? What did the author tell us? What did he tell us? Did he tell us, did the author tell us how apples grow? Or did the author tell us how pumpkins grow? Which one, apples or pumpkins? Pumpkins, that's right. They told us, he wrote words about pumpkins. Now, what about the illustrator, Leia? What does an illustrator do? If the author wrote the words, what did the illustrator do? Make the pictures. That's right. But let's take a look at these photos. Do you think, Riker, do you think somebody drew these? Do you think somebody drew these? Oh, man. I don't think so. I think somebody took them with a camera, don't you? I think somebody took them with a camera. So in this, um, in this story, it looks like the um, illustrator took some photos maybe or chose the photos. Chose the photos, Bernadette. Chose the photos. And what do the photos show? What do the photos show, Jordan? Um, the picture. They chose the picture. What, is this, what are these pictures of, though? In this specific story, what are these pictures of? Growing. The pumpkin growing. So the photos show a sea of plant, vines, and pumpkins, right? Yeah. So we made this chart in the morning class. Let me turn this off. We made this chart in the morning class, and they told me what an author, what the author did. The author wrote about how a pumpkin seed grows, right? The author tells us what a pumpkin plant needs. What does a pumpkin plant need? We just talked about it. Kendall, do you remember? What does a pumpkin plant need? Sunlight and, and water, that's right. Um, she also lets us know when it's time to pick a pumpkin. Do we want to pick a green pumpkin or an orange pumpkin? Sarah, orange. we want to pick an orange pumpkin. We know that it's ripe and it's ready to be picked. The author wrote the words, okay? Whereas the illustrator chose the photos. I don't know if she took the photos, maybe she's a photographer, but she chose the photos that go along with the story. That go along with the book that show us how a pumpkin turns from a seed to a pumpkin. So I'm gonna put this on the illustrator side. Like that. And like this. Okay. So there is our chart. Labels. Who do you think wrote the labels for the pictures? Do you think it was the author or the illustrator? Victoria, what do you think? You think it was the author? I think I have to disagree. I think it was the um, illustrator. I think it was the illustrator because she's the one that chose the pictures, right? So the label goes along with the pictures. It tells us about the picture. So that's why I think that the illustrator wrote the labels, okay? Alrighty, so let me turn this back on. Pull my um, thing back down. Now we 
might know all about pumpkins and how they grow, right? How they turn from a seed into a pumpkin. All right. Do you guys like our new docu cam? We got a new one. It's a lot clearer, huh? It's warming, it's warming you up. Sit down, please. Thank you. Okay. What letter is this? What letter? Everybody can say it. Just shout it out. And what sound does it make? Mm, good. What letter? What sound does it make, Kendall? Good. What letter? Good. What sound? Mm. What about this one? A. A. What sound does it make? This one. What sound? T -t 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 -t, like tub. Ooh, and this is our letter of the week. I. I. Is this uppercase or lowercase I? It's lowercase I. That's right. And what does I, what sound does I make? I. 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 Like inch. Like inch. I. I. Okay. We're going to do these squirrel blendings. Remember these? Where we, um, whatever, whatever letter the squirrel is on, you say the sound of that letter. So right now it's on T. So what are you going to say? We're going to stretch out those words. And you're going to hear that I sound in the middle of these words, okay? So T. I. Say the sound, Callan. I. Mm, let's put it all together. T. Mm. T. Nope, try it again. T. M. Tim. Next one. What's that first? First letter. I. 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 Now the squirrel's gonna go to the second letter. T. Blend it all together. It. Good. You found it? Okay. Now get your arm out. Say that first letter sound with me, Bernadette. Eh. What word? Blend it all together, Jordan. Jordan, not Callan. Sit, sit, good, sit, nice. Okay, I'm gonna hand out this um, phonics, phonics worksheet for the letter I. The letter I. Hand this out, put your name on it, please. some words the squirrel helped us read those words that had the I sound in the middle right
So we're gonna practice writing our capital I's and our lowercase I's. Right up here. Right up here, we're gonna practice our I's, our lowercase, or excuse me, uppercase and lowercase I's. Um, like this. There's capital I, straight line down with the little dot. Just like that. Make sure you're doing two finger spaces in between um, your set of eyes. Capital I. Lowercase I. Capital I. Lowercase I. A lot of people in the morning class, I noticed that when they were writing their lowercase i's, they were writing them like this. Everybody look. They are writing them like this. They would do the dot and then a line. Remember, the line and the dot have to be separated. Okay, so a line and a dot. Just like that. Wait, you brought this Miss Y calls you outside. You need to bring your pencil and your clipboard with you. Okay, so she calls you out remote. She's you with, with you and she when you come, okay? Good, Jordan. And your <laughs> dot on your lowercase i, it doesn't need to be huge. It just needs to be a little dot. Just like that. It doesn't need to be huge. All right. Are you writing your eyes with us, Leia? Are you? I'm gonna walk around and make sure you're following along with us. Oh, you're not. Bro, you gotta write your eyes. Do the work now. Now we're at that time. Mm -hmm. Good, Victoria. Nice. Sarah, you're doing your eyes. Wow, Kendall, that looks amazing. Jordan, how are you doing? Good, Jordan. Good, okay. All right, I'm gonna move on, Leah. You'll have to catch up, okay? So these words don't start with I down here. These pictures, they don't start with the um, the letter I. They Some of them do have the letter I in them, though. You'll hear the sound, like with this one. It's mix, mix. Everybody, get out your arm, extend your arm. Mm, X. Do you hear the I sound in there? Yeah, I do too. So in the word mix, there's an I in the middle. Callan, do you know how to spell mix? M-I-X. Wow, awesome, M-I-X, M-I, X. So I'm going to write the word mix. I'm going to underline that I. X. Mix. What about fish? What about fish? Do you guys hear it? Ish. Eh, eh. Sh. Is that the I sound? Yes or no? I hear it. I hear it. That's right. Fish. What's that first sound you hear, Jordan? No, the first one. F. 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 And then the I. Fish. Callan, do you know what two letters make the sh sound? It's okay if you don't. S and an H. S H. Fish. Fish. Okay. Now we had trouble figuring out what this picture was in the morning class, and I still don't know what it is. I think it might be a shelf. And the word shelf, do you hear? the I sound, 
Do you hear an I sound in sh, eh, oof, shelf? Do you hear an I sound? Yes or no? Yes or no, Kendall, in the word shelf? Sh, eh, oof. Yeah, thumbs down, right? So I'm gonna put an X on that because there's no I in there. What about in the word hat? Hat. Ooh, hat. Jordan, stretch it out. Extend your arm. Extend your arm. At. I don't hear eh. Do you hear eh? No. So I'm gonna put an X on that one. What about six? Six. What do you think? Yes or no? Do you hear the I? Yeah, I do too. Victoria, do you know how to spell six? Mm-hmm. No, remember, it's the I sound. X. I, X. Good, girl. And this last one is clip. Clip. Do you hear the I sound? Yes or no? Ooh, Jordan's giving me a thumbs down, but I think I hear it. Eh, eh. Eh. I hear the I hear the I sound in the word clip. All right. So I'm gonna spell clip. It's a C L. And then there's that I, eh, eh. What's the last sound you hear in the word clip? What is it, Bernadette? P, that's right, P. Good job. So we have mix, fish, six, and clip. Oh, I forgot to underline my eyes. I'm gonna underline my eyes, clip. Awesome. Okay. I would like you to finish this if you haven't finished it yet. If you are done with it, I want you to practice. Um, I want you to get out your writing handbook. Your writing handbook. Do you guys remember what that looks like? Your writing handbook looks like this. I want you to open up to page I. Open up to page I and practice your uppercase and lowercase I's. Okay? Practice your uppercase and lowercase I's. 